Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you how we can prepare quality figure for our research article. So whenever we are preparing quality figure for our research articles, so we have following question in my mind. First, how to prepare? This is the important part and the second we should what to prepare? And third important step is their export and save. So first of all, how we should prepare our figures? We know that usually there are the different software which are used to prepare the quality figure for our research article. But I usually like Microsoft PowerPoint. You, you can also use this PPT tool of, I mean, which come with Microsoft. You can also use Adobe Photoshop. And you can also use Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator. these software you can usually use to prepare your figure but I mostly use Microsoft PowerPoint so uh, the next important part is what to prepare usually we should know that a good quality figure uh, have following components so among the components on my list the first one is figure panel I will show you on the next slide that what are figure panels next uh, a quality figure should have figure number and uh, third important step a quality figure should have figure title and uh, it should also have figure legends so here are few tips for export we should know that before exporting uh, when you are I mean you have fully prepared your figures so before exporting your figure we should uh, know that what are uh, export requirements so but before I go into the detail of export I will show you uh, what are the important component of figures so let me take you to a good figure which I have took a screenshot here you can see a B C D E F can you see the different panels this is actually the different parts I mean which which are making a composite figure so I mean from A to J in this figure are actually figure panels. I mean when you are preparing your uh, composite figure you can divide your whole figure into uh, different panels. So you can arrange them like uh, and you can name them A, B, C, D. They are called as figure panel. So the next important part is this figure number. I mean here you can see this part which is written as figure 2 is actually the figure number we should must number each figure this is actually the figure number so the next important part of a, of a figure is actually uh, the figure title here you can see the microscopic examination and anthracutical formation of wild type and apical abortion 1331 that is actually the figure title I mean the third important part is uh, figure title okay and uh, these from A B C I mean what is written and what is the detail I mean what is given in panel A what is given in panel B what is given in panel C and D these all details are called figure legends details are 
called figure legends I mean whenever you are writing you should take care that each figure should have each figure should have figure panel then it should have figure number then it should have figure title and then lastly it should have figure legends another important thing uh, before exporting we should know that that each figure panel when we are writing like figure panel if you are writing your figure panel in the capital letter like a b c then you should must name all of your panels in capital like here you can see i have mentioned all the panels in capital uh, i mostly um, saw in some paper that a student used to write like in the first panel maybe they are writing a and they may be in the next panel they are writing with the small letter so it is not recommended so another important thing which should know that font size and the text font size like if you are using 12 and if which font you are using like i mostly use times new roman so you can use same for all it is not recommended that in some maybe you are using times new roman and i mean maybe in other you are using Arial. you can use same for all here uh, this is a good quality figure you can see all the uh, size and uh, font is same so let me show you another example of good figure uh, here you can see another figure here are the different panel a b c d e and f so you can see here the f panel is further divided into two but important thing to note is that you can see here the the each panel has its own different title which is of the same size i mean like uh, we should must remember that size and uh, the font should be same for all should be same for all and another important thing which uh, we should know that here you can um, notice that size of a and d is equal while uh, size of this two panel is equal to this panel what it shows it means the, the space is properly managed i mean uh, i have often seen that that um, student use to not do good space management if you are preparing your figures for high quality journals uh, then you should prepare your figures with good space management i mean there should be no empty space i mean there should be no empty space empty space and there should be no extra space so in this way uh, you can prepare your figure and you see that each figure has figure panels and each figure has figure title each figure has figure panel which are a b c d e each figure has figure number then it is figure title and here are the figure legends so uh, when your figure are ready and your figure has all the components so we can go back and see uh, when our component of figures are ready so they are ready to export but before they were we should make sure that the size and the text is same for all the panels so we can export them at 300 dpi so there are the different ways uh, in which you can export your figures in 300 dpi or 600 dpi and even sometime it is you can export them at 1200 dpi whenever you will be exporting at 600 or 1200 dpi the size of the figure would be too big so it is not recommended so uh, i mostly like to export my figures at 300 dpi so uh, if you are using your powerpoint uh, tool so you can directly save as pdf 
and from the PDF you can use different ways like Adobe Illustrator or you can use uh, Google so uh, hey I will paste my video links that how we can save uh, from PDF to high quality or 300 dpi figures in this way you can prepare your high quality figure for your for your research articles so if you have any other question related to the preparation of figures please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye